For number three, you just really need to follow the instructions. It's again more about common sense than it is about um, actual math knowledge. So we want to make sure we read the story carefully. The only thing that maybe needs explanation here is the idea that when we talk about rate, we're talking about slope, right? So we're not really dealing with a traditional line in this question, but it might help to think about what we mean when we talk about lines, right? Lines have two pieces. They have a, a B, which is kind of like a starting point, a Y-intercept, and then they have an, a slope, which represents the rate of increase or decrease. And so here they're talking about snow falling, so it's only going to be a rate of increase. But that's about it. So let's just go through the story one piece at a time. The first sentence says snow fell and then stopped for a time. Well, we need to pick a graph that includes the stopping. And when it stops, it has no slope. It has no, no accumulation, no rate, no increase. So choice D is wrong because there's no stoppage here. It's increasing the entire time. That's not what we want. All A, B, and C have to show the, the flat like la time that the, the, stop, the snow stopped falling is these little bars in the middle where things are flat. That's this part. But then let's keep reading. When the snow began to fall again, it fell at a faster rate, which means greater slope. Um, so we're looking now to compare the, the first increase to the second increase. C is wrong because this isn't an increase, this is a decrease at the end. So that doesn't make any sense. The snow is not melting. It says that specifically in the question. It's only increasing. Now, as for the other two, this slope on choice B is greater at the beginning and more flat at the end. So it has a lower increase, a lower rate at the end of the story, which is not what we want. We want to have the greater slope at the end. So look at that compared to choice A, which is the answer. This line here is relatively flat compared to this line here, which is much steeper and represents the greater slope, the faster rate of snow falling. If this is confusing to you, I really recommend just like re-watching re, re this video, rereading this question, because this does come up on pretty much every SAT, this idea of change and slopes and how steep they are, that is a common theme on the SAT, so an important concept to get down.